What's up everybody, Prepared Guy here once again, and today we're taking a look at the Olight arc film. Upon unboxing, you'll find the light itself, along with the manual and a magnetic charger. The Arkfeld is made of aluminum alloy and is powered by a built-in 3.7 volt 1050 milliamp rechargeable lithium polymer battery. It's also IPX7 water resistant up to two meters and has a one meter impact rating and weighs just over three ounces or just under 90 grams. I'll leave the tech specs from the manual on the screen now, just in case I leave out any details. So pause the video here to see those details. During my runtime test starting at the 1000 lumen turbo mode, the Arkfeld's output stepped down to 700 lumens after about three minutes of use and then ran at 700 lumens for an additional two hours before stepping down to the 240 lumen mode for about eight minutes before the battery became completely depleted for a total runtime of two hours and eight minutes. And during my thermal test in the 1000 lumen turbo mode, the Arkfeld reached a max thermal output of 102 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius after about about three minutes of use. And during my recharge time test using my Olight MCA charger, the Arkfeld took just one hour and 16 minutes to fully recharge from completely depleted. Now let's take a quick tour and go over the general operation of the Olight Arkfeld. All right, guys, this is how you use the Arkfeld. So basically you got this little rotary knob up here. It's on the light right now, and then it's on the laser now. So you could press the button and laser turns on, and that's what the laser looks like. You can also flick the switch while the laser's on, while the light is on in general, and switch right over to the white light mode. And then you can switch right back if you wanted to, too. Has a battery indicator right here to tell you how much juice you got left. There's four quarters. Hold down the button, turns on that low mode or that moonlight mode. And then you jump up to the next mode, the next mode, the next mode. And you could cycle through and you could stop it, whatever you want, turn the light off. You got your memory mode, you turn it right back on. You can even switch over to the laser and then switch back to the last memorized mode as well. So say you wanna put it on like this medium mode, switch over, laser, switch back. It's gonna memorize it that way too. You can turn it off. It's gonna memorize it when you turn it back on. So there you go. Triple click in any time, one, two, three. It's gonna bring you to your strobe mode. Turn it off by pressing the button once. If you wanna use the lockout mode, all you have to do is hold down the button like so. It'll flash once and now we're in lockout mode and it'll be red. See how that's red? Turn it on again, light turns back on. All you have to do is hold down that button. Double click at any time, brings you right into turbo. Shut the light off, hold the button down, goes into that moonlight mode. If you guys want to use the timer mode, all you have to do to use the timer is you turn the light on there's gonna be a three minute timer and a nine minute timer and how this works is you're gonna double click but on the second press down, you're gonna hold. So one, two and hold. And now that's the nine minute timer for two flashes and double click again, hold one flash is gonna be the three minute timer. So that's how that works. So for those of you wondering about the color tint, you have the 4,000 to 5,000K and the 5,700 to 6,700K. And this is what they look like side by side. So I'm gonna start off in that moonlight mode and gradually go up. And you can see warm white, or warmer colored white, it's a neutral white, and then you have your cool white here. And then you get your lasers. All right, let's take this outside and uh, do a real beam shot comparison. The Olight Arkfeld has a max beam distance of 101 meters or 331 feet in the 1000 lumen turbo mode. It also has a max candela of 2560 CD and has two color tint options for the LED ranging from neutral white tint coming in at 4000K to 5000K and a cool white tint coming in at 5700K to 6700K. And of course, there is also a green 0.39 milliwatt laser. Guys, now we're outside. I'm gonna throw this in the one lumen moonlight mode. We're about 20 feet away from the railing in front of us. I'm gonna bump this up to the 15 lumens. Now you can really start to see the railing in front of us, 20 feet away. I'm gonna bump it up to the 60 lumens now. This is 60 lumens, 20 feet away. And we're gonna bump it up again, 300 lumens. As you can see, that's what 300 lumens looks like. Double click, now we're in the turbo, 1000 lumens, 
triple click for the strobe. One, two, three. And press it once again to turn it off. Now we're gonna switch over from regular light to laser pointer. Laser pointer, that's what it looks like. 20 feet away from the railing there. This is what we really wanted, guys. I have my other really good laser pointer here. And Olight, if you're watching, this is basically a really nice laser pointer versus what you guys put on this uh, little device here. This laser is what we all wanted. See this laser? This is what we all want. 18650 battery. Look how far out that goes. You can't even see this in the distance. You can see this laser in the distance, but you can't see the other one. Just letting you guys know. You guys can see what I'm talking about. So as I go in the distance there, you can kind of see the other one in the distance, but this one on the left, you can. You can definitely see it. So that's what that looks like. All right, guys, now I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of this new light compared to the Perrin 2 Mini. So this is what the Perrin 2 Mini looks like with the 1000 lumen mode, or whatever mode this has here. And then this is 1000 lumens here. This is side by side, what they look like. Now we're indoors. This is the laser pointer that we got versus the laser pointer that we wanted. See, see, big difference. 20 feet away, about 20, 22 feet away, roughly away from that door there. We goes into space. Yeah, big difference, huh? Now we're gonna drop this into the one lumen mode. This is one lumens, 20 feet away from the door. You can't see anything. So like right here on the ground in front of me, we'll step it up to the 15 lumens now. Now you can start to see the 15 lumens. You can see that door. You can see stuff in front of you. You can see stuff down on the ground here. Step it up again. Now we're at the 60 lumens. And we'll step it up again. 300 lumens. And double click for that turbo 1000 lumens. Looks great. Now that's a lot of light. That's a good amount of light. You're seeing exactly what I'm seeing actually. So that's really, really important. You know, you're seeing what I'm seeing real time, triple click for that strobe and then switch it over to that laser. So you can see pretty cool. Not a bad light, not a bad light at all. My pros and cons are as follows. First, the pros. The arc felt is slim and looks great and feels nice in the hand. It's also definitely made for an office environment because you can use it as a PowerPoint presentation laser. The other option being a pet toy. Overall, it has decent run times and it's pretty darn bright. Now for the cons. I'm really not a fan of built-in batteries and I never have been. And what's worse is Olight's typical warranty is about five years for the lights that come with removable batteries. However, since this light has a built-in battery, the included warranty is only going to be two years. So with that said, the Arkfeld retails for just $89.99 at regular price, but you can pick one up during February's flash sale for just $71.99 for the pinwheel gunmetal gray version shown in this video. That price also includes the Olight two-year free from defects warranty. I'll leave a link down in the description. I hope this video has been helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to see more awesome EDC gear every week. This has been Prepared Guy, and until next time, guys, stay prepared.